Savannah was this beautiful, bright-eyed, alert, awake little girl. I remember they laid her on my chest and looking at her and thinking that she was just so perfect. Epilepsy came into our lives pretty much the way it does for everybody, completely unannounced, uninvited, and without any warning. One day we had this healthy two-year-old, and then one day it was over. Before seizure, she could talk and, and she could walk and she had been potty trained and she knew her colors and she never learned any more colors after that first seizure. And she could count to three, but she never learned to count past three after that first seizure. I think the thing that always haunted me about Savannah was that we never did figure out why she was having epilepsy. And so this was the one thing that just ate away at me, tormented me. And so I remember reading some scientific paper on what causes epilepsy and thinking to myself, I have no idea what this paper is talking about. There were big words and theories that I had never heard of. And very naively, I thought that I needed to go to college and take an English class because clearly I, I can't read English. So I went to junior college and I took some English classes and I got very good grades and thought, okay, maybe I should take a science class. And so I took a science class and just fell in love with science and then ultimately after 12 long years got a PhD in neurobiology. Research to me, to our family, was the thing that mattered most because Savannah had failed 26 treatments. She was having seizures every day. And so the man I was working for said, let's sequence Savannah's genome. And the data came back and I was analyzing it and something jumped out at me. She had a huge number of very rare, very strong genetic changes in genes that regulated calcium coming into her neurons. And this made me remember that every time we had put Savannah on calcium supplements, that she would always seize more. And what I came up with was that Savannah needed to be on a drug that slowed calcium entry into the cell. It's uh, not something that's really been used for seizures. And the doctor looked at us like we were crazy, but we put her on this drug and that was a year and a half ago, and she has had, for the entire year and a half, a 95% decrease in the number of seizures that she was having. I mean, my daughter went from having 100 to 200 seizures a month to having a 20, but 20 seizures in a lifetime is too many. And I, I wonder what would have happened if we had found this medication when she was two. She had that first seizure. I mean, she's 20, she'd be She'd be in college. I don't, I don't even know what she'd be studying. She'd probably have a boyfriend. We would have conversations that didn't revolve around, you know, Dora the Explorer and Go Diego Go and Dr. Seuss, but they'd be about life and love and you know, how dad made her mad today. And so, you know, it's, it's never, it's not what you want. You know, when we first entered the world of epilepsy, I was convinced that nobody was, was studying it I'm, because I just couldn't believe that we had no answers and that we had to claw our way through diagnosis and treatment. We felt like we were the only people on the planet with this disorder. And then I saw, you know, Kira come in and, and start to do foundational research, laying the foundation with their seed grant, with their uh, awards to young investigators, raising awareness, sitting in the laboratory, you know, with your microscope and, you know, your petri dishes. You don't always feel like you're having this worldwide impact. But Cure, the impact that it's had is undeniable. And I think this is why it's so appealing for me to come and work at Cure because, you know, you can really make a difference, you know, in the field of science and, and in bringing hope to families. I don't really 
know what to think about myself. I think about Savannah. It's her story. It's without her, there's no, you know, mom who wants to know why she started having seizures. There's no mom who becomes a researcher. And so it really is all about Savannah.